Hello guys, welcome back to the CTX cloud. Today we are going to discuss about the SSL offloading. So this is the video number 13 in our training series. And let's uh, understand some basic concept of SSL offloading. So first of all, I'm going to open a diagram here. So this is like diagram. So generally in our regular practice, we will put SSL certificates on our nets, uh, on our servers which works on port number 443 which is SSL so generally we will configure a certificate on our web servers and then we will send over to the user so that the user can access these servers but you know if, if we have put the certificate on our server so it's like extra load on server so whenever a user is going to access this server so he need to decrypt the search certificate if we have put like certificate on this server one and it works on port number 443 that means there is a uh, there is a, a certificate on this server and client need to decrypt this certificate with the private and public key and this is like if there, there are millions of requests coming to this server then uh, the millions of requests he server need to give a public uh, i mean a, a public key then he need to decrypt the certificate then user is able to access this server as in port number 443 and https but rather than putting the certificate on these servers we can put a certificate on Netscaler and then we can keep these servers as HTTP on port number four, port number 80. So that these servers do not need to do extra work to encrypting and decrypting the request. Only these needs to be taken care by the Netscaler. So this is called OSSL offloading means we are offloading our servers to encrypt and decrypt the request and these all things are need to take care by the Netscaler. We are going to assign a certificate on the, this Netscaler and rest of our servers who are on a private network remains on HTTP so that they can resolve the request very fast. So this is the concept of SSL offloading. So now in our uh, previous video, we have configured a website httprbg.ctxcloud.in and this is configured on the Netscaler and Netscaler also connected with the server on port number 80. So right now it is working on port number 80 and in this lab we are going to assign a certificate to rbg.ctxcloud.in and these servers remain port number 80 and by doing this we can make this website as https and by https this uh, website become a secure and the certificate all these uh, all these uh, requests of https will take care by the netscaler and our servers become offload so we are not going to put any certificate on this server so th this is called ssl offloading so in lab scenario how we can do that so i am going in my netscaler and here you guys can see that i have a virtual server rbg dot ctx cloud dot in let me access this http rbg dot ctx cloud dot in and i'm pressing enter and you guys can see that this website is working on port number 80 which is http and if i'm accessing this via https rbg dot ctx cloud dot in and i am pressing enter so see this website is not working right now on port number 443 which is https so basically we need to assign a certificate to work this website on https and 
rather than putting the certificate on our backend server we are going to put the certificate on the net scaler so let me request a certificate with my certificate authority so this is my active directory domain controller and here i have already uh, installed the certificate authority on this server so you guys can see my previous video how you guys can do that so i am going on certificate manager and here i am going to on my personal and certificates and here i am going to request a certificate so click on request certificate and here you guys need to check that uh, active directory enrollment policy is there click on next and here you guys need to select web server so i'm selecting this click on details and properties here i'm going to put my common name which is rbg.ctxcloud.in click on add after that here i am going to select dns and dns in in dns i i am entering the first host name of this website which is rbg and after that rbg.ctxcloud.in click on add click after that you guys need to go on private key and in the private key options you guys need to select make private key exportable so that we can export the private key with the our certificate click on apply ok click on enroll and now you guys can see that it succeeded so that I have created one certificate here so after that I am going to export this certificate so I am going to going on all task and then export click on next here yes export the private key so that we can install the next scaler click on next click on next here you guys need to enter your password so you guys can enter any suitable password and in enterprise company uh, the serv um, the certificate provider will give all these information like, like let's encrypt and there are some certificate authorities who gives the certificate so click on next click on browse and here i am going to put this on my desktop which is rbg and click on save click on next and finish so now i have created a certificate for my website which is rbg.ctxcloud.in and on rbg.ctxcloud.in i am going to put my ssl certificate on the netscaler rather than putting the netscaler on backend servers so i am going to minimize this and i am going to copy this certificate from this server which is from here to my local desktop because I am accessing my Netscaler outside these servers. So I am going to put this uh, certificate here which is RBG. After that I am going on my Netscaler. So let me go inside my Netscaler. After that you guys need to go on load balance, not load balancing, go on SSL then certificate then cert server certificate so we are going to install a certificate for this website click on install here you guys need to give the certificate name i am giving this rbg here you guys need to select the certificate file so my certificate file is rbg and here you guys need to select the key so key we have already exported with the with this certificate so i am going to click on enter and here you guys need to enter the password which you guys have given during export of your certificate so i have given a password here click on install uh, it's giving the error okay might be there is some issue while exporting this certificate okay no problem like these are kind of real scenarios we will see in our own infrastructure and all these things so let me try to export this certificate again 
and meanwhile you are learning like like live troubleshooting of these things so again i am going my certificate authority i am going to old task then going to export click on next yes and here click on next here i am entering my password click on next go on desktop i am going to save this desktop and call rbg click on save click on next and click on finish so export is successful again i am going on this desktop i am going to copy this certificate and replacing from this one so i have pasted a new certificate here again i am going on my net scaler choose this rbg i am going to select a file from local select rbg and okay now i am going to select the same certificate because we have exported the private key with the with same certificate and here i have to give the password click on install and now you guys can see that this time my certificate has been installed i am going to close all these errors which we occurred previously after that i am going to link this certificate with my root ca so make sure whenever you is, will install any certificate on your netscaler uh, just link it with your root certificate okay <clears throat> now see in virtual server so this server rbg uh, vip we have configured with at so now we are going to change this with the port number 443 and after that this will ask for the certificate so click on edit and here first you have guys have to check this and okay so let me delete this and i will create a new vip here so which is again rbg select the protocol ssl okay this is ssl and same ip address i am going to give here 192.168.1.85 and this time it automatically selects port number 443 so let me check my dns again if it's pointing to 185 okay this is pointing to 185 that's cool now let me go click on ok after that you guys have to select your virtual services so select all these three servers click on select click on bind after that you guys have to click on continue here we are going to assign our certificate which makes backend these three backend servers offload and uh, netscaler will uh, perform all the activities activities for the encryption and decryption so click on select and here i am going to select this certificate click on select click on bind and click on continue and after that click on done so now i am going to access this website with https request so here i am entering http uh, rbg.ctxcloud.in and see guys this time see my certificate is fine this time the website is fully secured you guys can see that the website is fully secured with the ssl and my website is opening with https rbg.ctxcloud.in and there is no certificate we have bind on our backend servers all these uh, queries are now taken care by the netscaler 
सो होप यू गाइस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज एसएसएल ओवरफ्लोडिंग इफ यू एंजॉयड माय वीडियो एंड जस्ट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू गाइस हैव एनी क्वेरीज रिलेटेड टू एसएसएल ओवरफ्लोडिंग सो जस्ट पुट योर कमेंट्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन देन आई विल रिप्लाई सो थैंक यू सो मच गाइस